So what's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. So again, this is Paul Bonin Vargas and you're watching Zebian Manila. And this is going to be a bit different since ito yung unang video natin for our request me episode or series. And yung gagawin natin ngayon, medyo malapit sa puso ko, sort of a different ball game or a bit a bit different from what our what we usually do kasi bali yung gagawin natin is more of nakataon sa mga scouts or sa mga boy scouts and um, with the help of Michael Cisno who is an also an Eagle Scout like me in our former school in Bicol he requested to give a lecture on leather crafting bali for Eagle Scouts um, konting refresher lang um, Eagle Scouts or Boy Scouts so that you can achieve the yung pinakamataas na rank which is the Eagle Scout here in the Philippines kailangan mo mag-earn ng badges and one of the badges na pwede mong ma-earn is leather crafting so actually medyo naikwento ko na din sa kanila that if uh, they need some help I'm willing to help them so dahil sa pandemic medyo Di, di pa pwede yung face-to-face uh, -face tutorials. So, gagawin na, na lang natin is ito yung video na to yung magiging uh, as magserve as parang tutorial ng mga boys dun sa former school namin. Or, if, all, if you're also a scout or you're also watching, bale, this will be a big help since yung gagawin natin is a neckerchief slide. Like this. So, ayun. If you're also a scout and you're watching this video, please do tune in. And I hope uh, this will serve or pwede tong tumulong para maka-earn ka ng leather crafting badge. Alright? Start na tayo. First of all, yung kailangan natin is a 9x6 leather. This one is a, a bit small, kaya gagawin natin na medyo malaki. So, this is a 9x6 leather. You can get any colors, pero since ito yung nandito ko or available ko, ito na yung gagamitin natin. What we need first is a pattern for the fleur de lis. If you're not into scouting, the fleur de lis is one of the is the symbol for the worldwide brotherhood in scouting. And ito yung parang pinaka nakikita niyo usually dun sa uniform ng mga scouts. Kahit sa Girl Scouts, may symbol din sila na Fleur de Lis. Alright, let's start with our neckerchief slide. Bali, yung first na kailangan natin is yung pattern. Gumawa ako ng pattern na Fleur de Lis um, kanina. And ito kasi ginawa ko siyang parang prototype. So, ang, mag ang ano lang dito is hindi ko masyadong nagawa yung dito sa curve. So, hopefully, on this next pattern, mas magawa na natin siya. So, again, here's our 9x6 leather. And, ito yung pattern natin for the floor delay. So, patong lang natin siya. Tandaan natin yung mga butas. Tapos, yung mga butas na yun, ipapunch out natin using this one. This is a single hole puncher. And ito yung gagamitin natin since yung tinuturo natin is the basic leather crafting. So, start na tayo. Itulong muna sa taas. Tapos, here on this corner. Since pag ganito siya, follow lang natin yung curves. This may not be a perfect na, ano, na floor delay. As long as may ituro natin sa scouts natin yung proper or basic leather crafting. Ito lang medyo mahirap kapag gagawa ka ng pattern for this one. Since this is a curved ones. So, kailangan mo matansya kung saan yung curve and saan yung butas na ilalagay mo. Okay, when you're done with that, try natin sa kabila. Bale, sundin lang natin siya. Gawin natin over here. And, antayin natin dun sa taas. 
okay and when you have that check natin yung sa baba yung pantay Okay, again, follow nyo lang yung butas ng pattern na to. And, pwede din kayo gumawa para ganito kakalabasan niya. I don't know if nakikita ninyo. And, as long as magmukha siyang floor delay. Kunin mo yung ruler mo. Put a space, um, 1 cm space dito. And from there, tandaan mo siya on this side. So, 1 cm here. And, from here, dito. 1 cm Bale, ito yung magsaserve as yung butas kung saan natin lalagyan ng cut dito kasi dun, ila, dun natin ilalagay yung neckerchief natin mamaya and syempre sa kabilang side din. Yung, bale, yung indention is 1 cm from this one and dito sa kabilang side okay. when you're already done with this one, get your coin E corner out mo yung sa side. Be careful with your cutters. It's better to be safe. Okay, when you're done with the corner, this time, bubutasan na natin yung kung saan tayo nag -mark markings kanina and now get your one prong puncher and balik ka lang dun sa tinandaan mo ng butas okay when you're done with that lagyan natin ng stitching guide yung slider natin Bale, for this one, meron akong wing divider. Kung wala kayong wing divider, you can use your rulers and your pencil para malagyan ng stitching, line, stitching guide. It should be over this line hanggang dito. So, kuha kayo ng at least 2 to 3 mm. I mean, 2, oh, tama. 2 to 3 mm. Bale, sukatin nyo lang siya kunyari like this one. Tapos, sukat pa na. 2 mm. 1, 2, 3. 3 mm. And, sukat ka din dito sa gilid. Okay, huwag masyadong malalim yung paglagay mo ng line, ng um, butas kasi kakancel out mo siya or papantayin mo lang siya like this one so magkakaroon ka ng line dito and from there kung saan ka naglagay ng guide doon ka maglalagay ng guide mo for your holes bubutasan mo lang siya so yung dito at least 0.5 cm yung line mo Pati dito sa kabilang side, pantayin mo lang siya. So, para mas mabilis, gawin natin ganito. So, here, 0.2, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, kabilang side, 3, and So again, lagyan mo lang din na guide. Or if you have the wing divider, bale ito yung magiging silbi ng wing divider mo. Pag wala ka, you can use your rulers. Okay? When you're done with that, again, balik ka lang ulit doon. And diretso ka lang ulit dun sa paglagay ng stitching holes mo. Ayan, kabilang side. Ok. 
Okay. Tapos dito, lagyan mo lang ng space. Parang i-measure mo lang kung saan tatama yung ano niya. Alright. When you're done with that, magbubutas na tayo. But before that, lagyan nyo ng guide yung dito sa binutasan nyo kanina. Okay. When you're done, start na tayong magbutas. Okay? Alright, so this time, um, proceed na tayo sa pagbutas ng ating leather slide. Bale, since nakapaglagay na tayo ng mga tanda natin, magbubutas na muna tayo ng nasa sides. Kasi yun yung tatahin natin later na medyo malaki para yun yung para magiging support ng neckerchief slide natin. So, start na tayo. Okay, since tapos na tayong magbutas ng paikot, butasan na natin yung floor dili natin. So, start here first. Bali, yung parang pinaka ano nit natin dito is yung parang mga corners-corners since yun yung, dun magbibase yung parang pinaka pattern natin kapag natahina. When you're going to do it on your own you can freely make your own size or own kind of pattern para dun sa floor dili kapag wala kang ganito, puncher pwede kang bumili ng ganito or parang ano siya eh, parang ice pick as long as kayang mabutas yung leather na gagamitin mo Okay, so ito yung medyo complicated na part So I'll just swing it na lang As long as mapantay siya So okay kahit hindi siya maging 100% na pantay As long as makita mo yung andun yung Parang symbol ng floor dili Okay, so we're done with this one. So let's start stitching now. Now that we're done, nung pagbutas ng ating floor dili, lagyan muna natin nung lines dito. Yun yung mag-serve as opening para dun sa neckerchief natin. So, get your cutter and your ruler para mas pantay yung paglagay natin ng butas. So, start na tayong mag-stitch. So, unahin muna natin yung paikot na stitch natin. So, get your thread. And, sukatin natin siya from this side going around. Bale, yung sukat niya, it should be at least 4 times the circumference no item natin. So, here. That's one. And two. So, Get your one, this one, and three. Tapos, syempre, pasobran natin ng konti. Okay. When you're done with that one, get your needle. Hindi siya parang yung usual na pagtatahi natin ng damit. Bali, for the needle, pasok mo siya dun sa butas. Then, get Parang iganito mo yung kamay mo. Yun yung mag-service guide. And 
papasok mo siya dito. Okay. When you're done with that, close mo ng kuwante para mag-lock. Kahit huwag masyado, it's okay. Then, get your other, other needle. So, same thing lang. Pasok sa butas. Then, keep it. And, close. Parang itutusok mo siya dun sa gitna ng thread. There. So, ito yung magiging itsura niya. And, yung middle niya is like this. Okay. Ano lang nakikita niya. Ah. Alright. So, start na tayo. So, bali yung tahi natin is called saddle stitch. Bali, paikot lang siya. For, paikot lang siya dun sa neckerchief slide natin. So, unahin muna natin yung sa pinaka circumference no leather okay okay when you're done with this one get the other one ipitin mo this dito sa side na to get your other needle pasok mo siya dito when you're done pasok mo siya sa kabilang hole then sa next hole and then pull it Okay, so it will look like this. So, kabilang side, it should look like this. Okay, when you're done with this one, press mo dito sa kabila. And get the other needle. Alright, you have that. Pasok po sa butas. And other side, and then pull it again. Why we do? Why do we do that? Yun yung parang magiging pattern natin para isalang yung look no thread kahit pa ikot. Okay. So that one again. Okay, and then free this one up. Press this one, yung bago, and pasok. Okay, hanggang mat, tapos natin dito. So, I'll speed it up a bit. Alright, when you're about to finish, Bale, tapusin natin to like this one. Okay. And, sobrahan natin ang isa. And, pasok nyo lang dun sa parang nauna, pinakaunang knot or pinakaunang holes. And, another one is, pasok lang ulit. And then, when you're done with that, cut mo yung ilalim. And, get your lighter. And, press it up. Bali, yung thread natin kasi na to is a wax thread. So, when you press it like that and pag ininitan mo or binurn mo yung thread na yun, yung tendency niya is mag-close dito. Here. So, parang wala lang. Parang wala lang yung pinutol natin. So, we're done with the border. And now, let's start with the floor delay. Okay, so start na tayo ng floor delay natin. Bale, halos same lang naman yung gagawin natin. But this time, ginawa ko yung length nung thread is medyo uh, doble yung haba kesa sa border. Kasi it's much better na magsobra tayo kesa magkulang. Okay? So, ganun ulit. Start here or anywhere you like. 
And then, from that one, and next hole. So, here. Yan yung start natin. So, another technique na pwede kong maituro is, um, if mapapansin nyo, habang nagtatahi ako, um, medyo mahaba yung length ng thread. Ayun no, parang nawawala yung kamay ko. So, para mas madali yung pagtahi mo, di ba nakaganito siya, hindi siya actually nakabuhol. May, pwede siya mag-slide. So, i- Um, hatakin mo lang siya hanggang doon sa malapit dito sa edge no uh, I mean this one yung hole tapos lagay ka ng at least one fist na space and get your needle so ito na yung dulo no ano mo or ito na yung length ng thread mo para hindi masyado malayo okay so same as the other one ganun lang ulit Alright, we're finally done with our neckerchief slide. Alright, so we're finally done nung neckerchief slide natin and it's this one. Asensya na kung hindi perfect yung paggagawa ko nung floor dilly. Medyo um, pero okay naman siya for me. So, maybe uh, next time or maybe on your own, pwede kang gumawa ng mas ma mas pantay na pattern. Ang yung magiging ano mo lang dito is yung dito sa corners para mas mapantay mo siya. But overall, okay siya for me. So, Um, wala akong na nakatago na neckerchief dito sa bahay namin but yung daughter ko is a part of the Girl Scouts yung Star Scouts ba tawag doon pag Girl Scouts so anyway, to use the neckerchief slide ito yung neckerchief natin pasok mo lang yung sa taas muna yung dalawang dulo 
like this. And of course, pasok mo din sa other side. Like this. So, magiging ganito siya. So, I'll try it on. Hindi ko lang sure kung magkakasya. Okay. So, again, here is our neckerchief slide. And again, I would like to thank Michael Sisno for requesting this one. And also to Sir Roy. Sir Roy is the uh, scoutmaster of our old school, which is the University of St. Anthony. So, actually, dati it's outfit number 56. Ang, yun yung pagkatatanda ko. Pero this time, it's all, already called as outfit number 72. So, again, thank you to Sir Roy and to, the, to our fellow scouts and to Michael Sisto. And lastly, I would like to say thank you again to Je Jeffrey Pile of uh, Ride Surf Chill and Supress Brew and also to our friends at Division Clothing. Again, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And also, uh, please press that notification button since karamihan ng nakikita ko na nanonood ng videos namin are not yet subscribed. So, it will be a big help for our mission. And that is to uh, do free leather crafting tutorials. Alright? Thank you so much. Bye!